about it. It sounded pretty cool. And it now he's gone. It sounded cool. And I haven't done I haven't played zombies since my computer went in because I've been way too involved with Ark. Uh, so what better way to say, hey, I'm back on YouTube making videos than to do a zombies challenge? That's right, I was originally gonna do this on Grod Krovi, but you know, I'm a little rusty. Uh, so figure would do it on a map that's a little smaller, a little easier to navigate, not a lot of perks on this map, but whatever. So, the challenge is the only challenge founded on Reddit, uh, and the only challenge is, uh, goes like this. I gotta find the box. Where's the box? Box, box, box. Okay, so it's in there. So by round five, I have to get to the box. I am going to spin the box. Whatever gun the box gives me is the only type of weapon I can use for the rest of the game. So if I get a Weevil, it's going to be an SMG challenge only. If I get a Launcher, it's going to be the Launcher challenge only. Uh, you know, ARs, AR challenge only, that kind of stuff. Um, so hopefully I don't get... Oh, uh, if I get Monkey Bombs, obviously that is... Okay, where was I? Uh, so yeah, hopefully it doesn't turn into like the Launcher or the Sniper only challenge because then it's just, it's rip. It's not going to go over well. So, we'll get over to the box by round five. And uh, we'll get our first spin on. And we'll turn on the power and do all that good stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, a couple of things I want to get off my chest. Uh, so, you guys are just going to have to listen to me ramble on. I uh, got my computer back. Uh, I was on the phone with the company. Uh, because there are still a lot of bugs in the computer uh, that needed to be worked out. I, we, with the technician that I was on the phone with today, they pretty much, pretty much got it to where it was before. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just, it's bullshit. So, uh, I bought the computer a year ago, came with a year warranty, uh, because I don't have the greatest of credit. Uh, it's less than perfect. Uh, and the company that I'm dealing with, uh, they help people with less than stellar credit obtain things that they need. Perhaps these um, help me fend off the wretched hordes. Um, so, I bought the computer. Uh, I told the, whenever I ordered it, I told the guy what I was looking to do with it because at that time I was just gonna start, well, I was into YouTube. I was. Uh, so, you know, the computer isn't even a year old. So it's probably maybe six months old. Um, so, I've been having problems with it since the day it showed up. Um, I was originally told over the phone, and I have it in, in the paperwork, actually, that it was supposed to be a year warrant. Um, so, there's that. And I've been... I told the, the person on the phone today, or the other day, whenever I had to get it sent out for repair yet again, uh, that, you know, I want something done either give me a new computer or, you know, something, 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 something needs to happen here because this is just bullshit. Uh, and he proceeded to inform me that, you know, you, if anything goes else, uh, anything else goes wrong with the computer, you've got another month left on your, uh, your warranty. So, you know, it's covered. And I'm like, what? Another month? Well, I paid for a year. I have it right here in the paperwork. And he's like, no, you've got another month. So needless to say, today just turned out to be an all-day argument on the phone with the company and as it turns out um, even though I have it in writing and I did fax it uh, they're still not gonna honor that I've only got a month left with my uh, warranty I only wish you could buy us more time and I'm like okay well I've been having problems with this computer because you've got it all documented there and he read me back everything that I've had the computer in for and I said yeah that's all correct uh, so they're obviously aware let's get our first uh, box spin in here all right, something good, box, please. All right, so this is now the LMG only challenge, so I guess we can try and... I don't know if the BMR is in there. I'm not sure if it's in there, but Dingo. Can't ask for a better pull than that, my opinion. All right, let's go turn on some power. Uh, so, yeah, they're not going to honor uh, what's written in my contract, my paperwork, um, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. Uh, they're... They're unwilling to send me a new computer, even though it also states in the paperwork that if problems persist, a new unit may be issued. 
and the key word there being may, may be issued. Uh, so, I don't know. It, 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 I mean, the computer that I have, when I ordered it, I told the guy what I was doing, and for the most part, uh, it, it, you know, I'm happy with the way the computer runs when it runs. When it does what it's supposed to, it's it's a really good computer. It's a laptop, you know, it's it does what I need. It's not a gaming PC, it's more of a workhorse thing, which is what I wanted it for, you know, rendering videos and recording videos, that kind of shit. So in that respect, it's a really, really good computer that way. Uh, but at the same time, maybe I should have went with something a little more powerful where I could actually play games on it. But I am not a PC gamer, so it at the time, it, it just didn't really, uh, it wasn't for me. You know, uh, now I'm thinking maybe, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, they're, the, the company is just, they're, they're unwilling to, uh, Nicola to help, really. Basic essentials. Uh, can we buy a joke here? Oh no, I can't. I can't for nor understand capital. Okay, what the fuck was I talking about? I can't remember. Anyway, computer issues. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll, I'll get it worked out. Maybe I'll just end up, uh, as soon as I get a little more cash. Maybe I'll buy a good desktop or something, you know, a good gaming desktop. Maybe I'll do it that way. I don't know. I don't know. So we got, uh, on a completely different note, uh, our first look at uh, DLC 4 for Black Ops 3. It looks amazing. I am so, so, so hyped. I can't wait. The shitty thing is, obviously I'm playing on the Xbox One. So that means that I won't get the new map until October because the... DLC drops in September, I think it's September the 9th, so that means I won't get it until October the 9th, and then of course Infinite Warfare comes out in November, so I'm only going to have a month to play it, uh, I think it was, I think it was Infinite Warfare, or, uh, uh, Advanced Warfare, uh, they released their DLCs a lot faster than Treyarch has released theirs, like, I, I remember... Uh, the last DLC for Advanced Warfare coming out in August. And then, you know, Xbox users got it in September. Uh, so, I found it very weird that Treyarch took their sweet-ass time uh, releasing the four DLCs for this game, but I guess it was just part of their strategy, you know? Like, nobody wants to be without Call of Duty for three, four months, right? I mean, the hardcores. I uh, don't want to be without. So. Yeah, so I don't know. It looks really good. And Malcolm McDowell, uh, he's been... I, I don't want to say he is my my favorite of all actors, but he is a good actor, and I do enjoy the movies that he is in. Uh, and f for him, the choice of Dr. Monty, Treyarch did a wicked job there because Malcolm McDowell is known to play like those crazier-ass roles. If you haven't seen any of his movies, go out and get A Clockwork Orange, uh, Stanley Kubrick, uh, Malcolm McDowell was the main character, and for some reason I'm drawing a blank on his name. Uh, he was also in Rob Zombie's remake of Halloween, playing Dr. Sam Loomis. Uh, he was in the Book of Eli. Like, he, j he does really... He's a really good actor. And I find myself, every time I see one, him in a movie or something, uh, I'm, I don't know, I, just, I find it very interesting. Very, very interesting. So, good on you, Treyarch, for getting Malcolm McDowell to be Dr. Monty. I think it was really cool the way that uh, Activision sent out certain uh, clips to certain YouTubers like uh, Lagan24x. He got uh, he got his own personal little message from Dr. Monty, Nova J456. He got uh, his own little message. Oh, why am I reloading? Alright, let's go to the box. Soon you will be the same. And see if we can get another LMG. I doubt it's gonna happen, but if we can get some monkey bombs out of it, that would be alright too. Oh, we definitely need that. We definitely need that. I almost pity any help here who dares run. Okay, so now we can't do shit because I went and bought that. Alright, another round. Another round. What's uh over here? I bet you it's speed. Speed is in the death corner. Oh no, it's meal kick. Okay, sweet. So that means speed is right there. Okay. Let's get this done. Alright, so another 
another topic here. It, this one kind of pisses me off, actually. Uh, I am a smoker. I smoke, well, for the next day or two, I am a smoker. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to quit. And it's not because I want to quit, because God knows I enjoy smoking cigarettes. I really do. For me, they're, they help me think. Uh, they help me relax. Uh, if I'm extremely stressed out. Smoking a cigarette just makes me see things a lot more clearly. I know it sounds stupid, and I know that tobacco does not have that effect on, or doesn't have that ability. Uh, but for me, that's the way I cope. Like, when I cut my finger off, I the doctor explicitly told me, do not smoke because it's just gonna... You won't be able to heal as fast as you normally would. Blah, blah, fucking blah. For me, the walking and the smoking at the same time just helped me put my mind at ease. Took my mind off of it. And uh, that's just the way I cope with shit. But as of late, I have decided that I am going to quit because... There have been a certain few people that have accused me of A, stealing money from them, and B, stealing cigarettes from them. Now, I am currently not working because of my hand. Um, I can't... I'm a construction worker by trade. Uh, I can't hold a fucking shovel in my hand. I can't operate any heavy equipment because you need both hands on the joysticks. So there's just, there's, you know, that's, it, it's, I'm not working. Okay. Um, but having said that, smoking is my habit and I do support it. And I have been fortunate enough to have some savings from when I was working. Uh, and I'm slowly starting to deplete that, which I don't like, uh, because you need savings. So, you know, I, I'm slowly depleting my savings. Uh, but there have been people that have accused me, just very recently actually, the last couple of days actually, of taking money from them to support my smoking habit. And I have proven uh, that I, because the person that accused me of taking the money uh, said, well, how are you smoking? So I got a bank statement, or I pulled up my online bank, and showed this person here. These are all the transactions that I have made because I only make one transaction because I don't have a place to work, so I don't drive anymore. I stay at home with my son. He's now out of daycare because of money issues, obviously. So I'm home. My son can stay here with me. My son and I stay home, so I don't go anywhere. My car sits out in the laneway. I don't think I've even started it in over a month. The only time I go anywhere is when I have a doctor's appointment, and nine times out of ten, I will use uh, our brand new vehicle that we have instead of my old gas-guzzling piece of shit, even though it's not that old and it's not a piece of shit. This um, Russian is ready so and eager I for more blood. Proved to this person that the money that I was using to buy said cigarettes was indeed coming out of my bank account. This person decided to not believe the evidence right in front of them and still proceeded to continue to say that I stole their money. Okay, fine, whatever. Go ahead. You want to think that I stole your money? That's, that's, that's fine. You can go ahead and think that. I know different. If it was actually true, then, you know, I wouldn't be talking about it because it is what it is. But today, actually, in fact, I got a call from someone, um asking me some very, very weird questions, like, what color is your lighter? So I explain that my lighter is black. I do have a black lighter. Uh, yes, right there somewhere. I do have a black lighter. Oh, I can use my knife, by the way. Knifing is fine. Uh, and I was like, okay, uh, why do you want to know what color my lighter is? Uh, because another certain person uh, has said that they are missing cigarettes and I was the last person outside on their deck where they keep their cigarettes in a fridge I was the last person there I was out on the deck having a cigarette uh, and apparently the cigarettes were there before I went out to have a cigarette and were gone after we left um, keeping in mind that this person throughout this entire thing uh with my finger has been a huge help this person has helped so much 
and I appreciate everything that they have done uh, for my wife and myself and my son. I appreciate everything that they've done. Okay, we're running a little late here, so I will finish this story 